Well, time is ticking with the first day of school just, ooh, a little over about eight days away now. <laughs> but who's counting? <laughs> yeah, who's counting? All of us are. Across the KTAB viewing area for Abilene schools, things are changing by the day as COVID-19 still complicates education for another academic year. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez was at tonight's Abilene board meeting where the pandemic made its presence known. Mercedes? It may technically be summer break still, but Abilene ISD admins are doing anything right now but taking it easy as the pandemic is still putting a big question mark on campuses this year. A main point discussed at the board's meeting brought a somber tone to the room. Dr. Keta Garduño presented the STAR testing results from the past school year compared to 2019. That's the last time the STAR was given. And that covers grades three through eight. And as she reported, all levels suffered much learning loss. Those tallies on your screen right now. She says eighth graders struggled the most but math was the overall worst performing subject. High schoolers did test better, some subjects performing even better than they did in 2019. Dr. Garduño said that that was one of the only highlights out of that STAR testing report. Now something else that we were watching for you on this meeting was of course those health and safety protocols as kiddos head back to school. The district will not provide remote learning as of now and that's because again legislation does not allow the district to count remote learners toward their average daily attendance. Another moment that definitely brought a distinctly somber tone to my Monday night's meeting was when a board member asked if a student who had to quarantine at home because they were either COVID positive or had been in close contact with somebody would qualify for that average daily attendance. The answer was no. It's kind of a sobering conversation to have this right after we just saw what our learning loss was. Now there is a scheduled media call with Superintendent Dr. Young on Tuesday afternoon, so hopefully we'll get in there and ask him a couple more questions about these issues that concern these trustees most. From 1AISD, I'm Mercedes Hernandez. Back to you. Thank you, Mercedes.